Hello and welcome to vlog number 84. This week I'm going to talk about sleep disturbance in Parkinson's disease. Sleep disturbance is a common non-motor symptom of PD. One study found that people with Parkinson's average just 5 hours of sleep per night and work during the night twice as often as adults of a similar age who didn't have PD. There are a number of reasons for this, including primary insomnia, trouble getting to sleep, secondary insomnia, frequent awakening, restless leg syndrome, sleep apnea, nocturia, frequent nighttime urination, vivid dreams or nightmares, hallucinations and delusions. A recent study by researchers at UCLA found a link between Parkinson's disease and narcolepsy a disorder caused by the brain's inability to regulate sleeping and waking cycles. Both conditions exhibit a loss of orexin stroke hypocretine cells in the brain and the loss of these cells in people with Parkinson's is relative to the severity of PD. Insomnia, both primary and secondary, occurs in more than 30% of people with Parkinson's and is often related to anxiety and depression. PD meds may also cause insomnia and may require adjustment of your medication schedule. Treatment may include the use of benzodiazepine or non-benzodiazepine drugs, or a sedative antidepressant such as amitriptyline or trazodone. These medications may cause increased confusion in elderly patients. I use cannabis to assist me in getting off to sleep and staying asleep, and find that this works very well without the side effects associated with the traditionally prescribed medications. I expect that in due course, cannabis will be prescribed to treat sleep disturbances once it is appropriately rescheduled and our medical professionals are suitably educated. Restless Leg Syndrome, RLS, is a most unpleasant condition characterised by an urge to move your legs, usually caused or accompanied by uncomfortable and unpleasant sensations in the legs. Traditional treatments for RLS are dopamine agonists and levodopa and deep brain stimulation has been reported to improve symptoms. RLS is something that I suffer with in spite of my DBS and which I find that cannabis relieves very effectively, again without any unpleasant side effects. Sleep apnea is a common sleep related breathing disorder which becomes more common with age but which is also more prevalent in people with Parkinson's. Treatment of sleep apnea usually involves the use of breathing equipment called CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure, which provides a continuous flow of air through the upper airways, preventing obstruction and improving oxygenation during sleep. Nocturia, frequent nighttime urination, is usually a result of autonomic dysfunction, the part of the nervous system which regulates key involuntary functions of the body, which almost all PD patients experience in some form. It is characterised by increased urinary urgency, urinary hesitancy and increased frequency, particularly at night. Anticholinergic medications are often prescribed to help with this problem. Hallucinations, confusion and delusions, known as PD psychosis, may result from any combination of cognitive impairment, dopaminergic medications, age and PD related vision changes and sleep deprivation. Initial treatment revolves around reviewing and revising the patient's medication regime, treating other sleep disturbances, providing a familiar sleeping environment and, in severe cases, the use of certain antipsychotics. In addition to nighttime sleep disturbances, people with Parkinson's often experience excessive sleepiness during the day. In fact, one study published in the European Journal of Neurology found fatigue and daytime sleepiness in around 75% of PD patients. The study notes that the causes remain elusive, but it is possible that multiple factors such as neurodegeneration and medication contribute to them. I don't take any PD meds, so I guess mine is probably due to disease progression. I find that a good strong cup of coffee can perk me up, and I did find evidence of a 2007 study into the use of caffeine to alleviate excessive sleepiness. However, no results have been posted, which is a shame. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.